So my wife and I decided we don't want to have kids. We're going to tell them tonight at dinner. Hey kids, Adam here. In today's video, I want to show you a quick vocal trick to kind of engage your listener, make things a little bit more interesting, and fill in some of the gaps in your vocal tracks. Uh, you will hear this, I'm going to call it the telephone effect, or you could call it the megaphone effect, and you hear it all over the place in pop music, rock music, any kind of music that uh, has vocals in it, you really hear this all over the place. Let's uh, get over to Reaper, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, here we are in Reaper. This was a mixed contest song. The song name is My Father Never Loved Me by the band Trafficker. And it was in a contest last fall on one of the Reaper forums on Facebook. And I decided to take a crack at it. And here's my mix of it. So let me play you just a little bit of the third verse here. I didn't learn no education. Had to work the hard, hard. All right, so it's it's really well recorded. Uh, the tracks are really easy to work with, and it kind of has this call and answer thing going on between the vocals and then the rest of the music led by the guitar. But all three verses were really the same. It's the different lyrics, obviously, but the the vocal performance and the call and answer, all that was the same. I wanted to add a little bit to this third verse here. So I wanted to add an echo, and this is this telephone echo that you hear. All right, to start, I'm gonna create a new track here. Um, expand this a little, get this under my folder. And then if you have the SWS extensions, there's a little short tip. You can right click, do track color, SWS track color, and do set children to same color, and you'll get the same color on your track. Now I want to go in and find a part to echo. So let me just solo out the vocals here. Hard, hard way. Somewhere in here. But the hard, hard. And I'll zoom in here. But the hard, hard way. So let's copy this part. If you right click, there's an option called copy selected area of items. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down here to this track that's highlighted. Hit paste. And now I have that same vocal. I want to move it over though, so I want to make it an echo. So a hard, hard way. A little bit more. A hard, hard way. A hard, hard way. That's probably good. I want to cut off this little bit. Do a fade in. A hard, hard way. A hard, hard way. That's probably pretty good there. And then I want to do it again on this second phrase. Had to work the hard, hard way. I want to do a little bit differently. I'm only going to pull this second part in. So again, copy selected area of items. Paste it and then move it over. But I'm going to move this a little further over. Let me play this with the music and see if it lines up. Had to work the hard, hard way. Turn up a little bit so you can hear it. Had to work the hard, hard That's actually pretty good. Uh, do a little fade in here so we don't get a lot of the beginning. And now we want to do this of telephone effect. So uh, I'm going to use Reaper plugins here. We'll start with re-EQ. And we want to do for a telephone effect, so you want to do a high pass and a low pass and then bump the mids. So low pass somewhere 600 hertz-ish, high pass somewhere in the maybe 4K or so. And then this uh, bump uh, somewhere around one and a half K, one one K somewhere around there. And you want to do a pretty good bump. So let's just solo this out and play just the echo part. Hard, hard way. And that's pretty good. I might bump this up a little more. Hard, hard way. Yeah, get, you, you want it kind of harsh and, and annoying sounding because it needs to stick out. Uh, next thing you want to do is throw a ton of compression on there. So I'm going to do Rea Comp. And I'll do kind of a standard 4 to 1 ratio. Uh, bump up the attack a little bit. Lower the release a little bit. And uh, take my uh, threshold down. I uh, want a lot of compression, probably about 6 dB of gain reduction here. Hard, hard. 
And the next phrase. Odd way. So that's pretty good. And then I want to add probably 6 dB or so to level match. Hard, hard way. Hard, 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 hard. And that's pretty good. It, it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, but we're getting some decent compression. Hard, hard way. Maybe re put the release out a little bit. Hard, hard way. And that way it hits it for longer. Hard way. And that's pretty good. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to add some saturation. And the JS saturation plugin is an amazing little plugin with one fader. And it's percent knob. And for this, I'm putting it all the way up to 100%. So before and after? Before? Hard, hard way. After? Hard, hard way. Just kind of add some excitement, add some some depth to it. And you can do a number of things here with uh, effects, things like that, maybe some distortion on there. I have uh, something I'll go to in another video called my Vox Air, which just adds a lot of top end to it. And I think I'm gonna add that to this. So I'll just drag the send over to the Vox Air channel. And we'll do a before and after. Hard, hard way. And then with it on. Hard, hard way. And you know, we're taking that, we're dipping all that with a high, with a low pass filter, but this is just kind of adding, almost adding hiss to it. All right, so let's get the volume set up between the lead and the echo. Had to work the hard, hard way. Maybe a little more. Had to work the hard, hard way. In the second phrase. Work the hard, hard And that's pretty good. One thing I, I did in the actual mix is I panned this 100% right just to make it stick out a little bit more and put it way over there. Hard, hard way. In the second phrase. Work the hard, hard way. So the only other thing I noticed is that this word way in the vocal is really, really kind of low. And you can see in the waveform here, it's, you know, three-fourths or almost half the volume. There's a number of ways I could fix this. I could split up the file and move this volume knob up to make the waveform higher. Um, or what I'm gonna do here is some volume automation real quick. Uh, select the track, hit the V key. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit and wear this, zoom in a little bit. Where this starts, I'm gonna hold down the control key and just kind of pull this up, see what this sounds like. And that sounds a little bit better. Uh, let's solo this out. Hard, hard way. And I would do that for both of them. So there it is. Final product here. Work the hard, hard way. I didn't learn no education. Had to work the hard, hard way. All right, so there it is. That's the telephone megaphone effect for vocals. Uh, there's a lot of applications for this, and you can go all sorts of crazy. You can add an echo onto it. You can add all sorts of reverb, so it kind of tails off into this, you know, kind of echoey thing. Uh, I have a number of different ways I've done this in my song. This is probably the most straightforward, and I thought it would be best for a video. If you like this sort of video, you like these sort of tips, let me know down in the comments uh, what sort of things you'd like to see. You know, like, share, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell thingamajigger. And uh, if you want to support me a little bit further, you can click the link down below to buy me a Coke. Until next time, have a awesome week. Crazy, you can add an echo, echo onto it. Echo. You can add all sorts of reverbs, so it kind of tails off. Product placement.